my friend and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a ColourPop haul. That's why I'm filmed in a different location in my room um, because I just have, I've never really done an order this big before and I didn't want to film it on like on top of my little vanity. I just didn't have space so I'm just in a new spot. Um, ColourPop was having a lip sale, which I was interested in because they had this huge collection of like their nude lip pencils and then they had one of reds. I don't typically wear a lot of red lipstick, red tones really. Um, if you've seen my uh, BH Cosmetics video, you can tell that reds are very new for me. Um, but it, for eyeshadows, I don't mind. For lip products, it's, it's different. I've never really been drawn towards red lips before and um i just wanted to restock on some of my favorite like lip shades and i've heard really good things about the color pop lip pencils and i have one or two of them and i was running low on some of the other brands that i really really like and so if i could find that similar color but at a lower price point i don't mind um but then the lip set had sold out before I could get a chance to get my hands on it. Um, it was in my cart for a few days and then it was gone. And then they had another sale directly after, which is like their big 80% off sale. But it's like buy before, um, before they're gone forever 80% sale. And I'm surprised at some of the items that are in this collection. Um, and then some of the items I'm I'm not surprised are in this collection. They, I will, should I start off with that? Maybe I should. If you're interested with anything that I have on my face, I will leave it in the links down below. But um, let me get into what's on sale. So as I'm filming this, I'm sure that the sale is still going on, but I don't know if the sale will still be active as the time that I eventually post this video. Um, it should be, I'm filming this on a weekday, the week before I'm posting this, so it, it might not line up. Um, but there's a lot of lip products, a lot of blush products, but a lot of like new products. And, it, and I'm kind of lucky that some of the items that I've had my eye on were items that were in the sale. And I'm kind of glad I got my hands on it before that they left. Um, so let's start with that. So the first items I want to talk about are the So Very Lovely collection. Um, I got this in my first order, so I've already been playing with this eyeshadow palette a lot. And if you guys have seen my, I will link it here in the cards, but I had a video of like items that were on my wish list. Like these are makeup items that I want to get that I've had my eyes on, but I don't know if like when I'm going to get them. And I'm kind of glad I bought it before before I couldn't buy it anymore. Um, I mostly had my eyes on the palette and I think this is a great palette. I'm actually wearing it today. At first it was kind of very similar to my uh, She's in Parties palette because like this deeper purple right here, this Topanga Boulevard, reminds me of the deeper purple in my um, She's in Parties palette. But I think these shimmers in this palette are, they're really, really pretty. Like I'm also wearing this a collective shade as well like just on my lid and then I'm using um, Craftworks as like a bat inner corner and I think this is a great palette I think it's really pretty and I think the formula is really great I've been sort of reaching for this every time I've been filming or needed to do something quick for work um, it's really good for like a one two shade combo but you can also do a lot of like uh, multi-leveled looks like if you wanted to use more than two shades and the entire collection was on sale as well as like the pal like the individual items so I know Colourpop will do things like they have a collection with um, they have blushes in the collection you can buy all the blushes or you can buy the eyeshadow palette and the blushes or the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliners um, as well as buying the eyeliners and blushes individually. So, but for this particular collection, everything was on sale. It was the individuals, it was the um, collections, it was like the, the little trios that they sell. 
And I was very shocked because I thought a lot of people really, really liked this collection. Like I saw tons and tons of videos for it. Um, even videos of like people who didn't get it in PR that they went and bought it themselves. So usually that's a sign to me if they're not getting it in PR but they're buying it themselves. It must be a popular um, item that people are interested in. So I did buy, I bought the eyeshadow individually. But then I bought the eyeliners and the um, trios individually. Because I think by the time I got to the thing, the whole collection was sold out, but I could still get the whole collection in the little groups. I know that sounds confusing, but the big one that came with everything was already sold out. So I have the um, Super Shock blushes. Yes, they're all blushes. I don't know if I'm going to really be reaching for this one because um, it is just more of like a super orangey, like really matte tone. But I really was interested in this chiffon shade. Everyone really loved it as like a cheek topper or a highlight. Um, I've heard a lot of people compare it to the Hades highlight. And I just wanted to compare it for myself because I already have the Hades highlight and I've had it. That should be listed in a like my monthly buy video. But that had been the highlighter I've been playing with. Um... And I'm so sad because one of my favorite content creators, she said that she got this one because she heard it was like her favorite highlighter, the Hades highlighter, and that she hoped it isn't discontinued. And then it was in that buy it before it goes sale. And they had the, the collection, but they also had them individually. So that makes me think that these are no longer going to be around, that the... I don't know if they're going to replace these shades with something else or they're just getting rid of them. Um, I also got the eyeliners. And only because like I I don't have too many eyeliners in my collection. Like I have my standard white, black, and brown. Because um, those were all I would always use for my eyeliner, for like my eye looks. Um, but I've really been loving and learning how you can use different colored eyeliners to really accentuate a specific look that you don't necessarily have to just stick to those more like monochromatic tones. Um, I think these ones are all like the like shimmer, shimmer uh, formula. So I don't think these are like matte liners, which, which is fine because I don't really have anything too much like this. So this one is the lighter shade in the collection and it's like this kind of like off white, but I think it is It's just like a more highlight, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just like a more highlighty kind of shade. Um, it's more to like make your eyes pop, which I'm not mad at. I think these are all really pretty. And then I think there's like one orange one that I had, like I really had my eye on. Oh, so like this one is like the pink one and I thought this one was really cute too. It's just really soft. It's like this nice magenta shade. I don't know if you can really see that but it just kind of catches the light but it's just it's just a nice lighter magenta shade and again like I just wanted these for like a pop of color in my looks and I think it would be so complimentary to like the so very lovely palette or any kind of like pink or purple eyeshadow palette that you might have in your collection and so on top of that they were also having a bunch of like sales on lip products and some of the lip products I understood because the the Lux lip gloss I know a lot of people don't like. I personally um, don't like them myself so there's a lot of the Lux lip glosses in that sale. The lip oils are not in that sale but there are some so very juicy, juicy shades in there that I'm kind of surprised are in there. Um, so I have the shade, let's see, I have the shade Show Off and the shade Hype. And these ones come in the pink boxes. I can't remember what shade boxes my other So Juicy lip glosses came in. Um, so I don't know if this is just like a, a separate, like a different collection, like a, like a summer or a winter collection. But I know one of them is like this pinky tone. And then the other one is like this more like nudie brown tone. And I had purchased these because I have two Jeffree Star lip glosses that are in like similar tones to this. Um, but I'm 
at a point where like I'm a little more than halfway through them and they are like my favorite shades of lip glosses to use and I really really enjoyed the So Very Juicy formula um, so instead of repurchasing my Jeffree Star collection I'm glad that I found an alternative but these were in the like buy before they're gone sale so like I don't know um, if these are going to be sticking around well obviously they're not going to be sticking around so I don't know if they're going to be coming out with like other shades so like I don't know if after this I have to go back to Jeffree Star Cosmetics I don't know um so some things that had come in my collection or some things that had come in my order before my the rest of my order got to me was the Soul Face and Body Bronzer Balm I like the packaging that it came in because it's just like this nice shiny little box it doesn't matter because I throw these away I don't I don't save them but I always think that they're nice um, and I've really been enjoying this bronzer it's a bronzer that I'm wearing today and I've been kind of wearing since I've gotten it I never had the uh, physicians formula butter bronzer like that the one that everybody really really loves I have like I don't know I don't find that physicians formula ever works for me and I've tried a number of different things and I've never really been happy with it and like it's not it's not cheap drugstore like um, wet and wild or uh, LA girl or something like that like it's a bit on the like more expensive of the drugstore because like for an eyeliner it's like eleven dollars like I think the butter bronzer themselves are like more than ten dollars I think and I don't know I'm not really too big on like scented items but this one like it you can smell it when like you have your face in the container but not and like as you're applying it but I don't think it sticks around and for me it just smells like my aloe like suntan lotion so it doesn't bother me um, I don't mind the scent I did get this in the shade light I'm usually a light to medium um, but I heard that these had run a little bit darker than than advertised um, so that you should go a shade down you know how like when you're buying clothes that's like true to size or like too small or too large um, something like that so this isn't like true to color like I would go a, a shade down but I've really really enjoyed it it's super easy to apply and it sets down really nicely um, I wouldn't say that it's like matte or dewy it's more of just like a satin finish and I've really been enjoying this with a lot of my skin tints because I feel like it just comp complements the more like satin like my skin but better effect that I get with my um, skin tints so this is a really good one it is a little bit pricier because I think this was like $15 and I think it's like you're supposed to use it for your entire it says face and body I don't know if I would use this on my body like maybe if I'm doing like a specific like if I was doing maybe like an Ed and Jaeger cosplay and I needed to like have like fake muscles but even then like I don't know like I'm not I, I, I couldn't imagine me using this for my body like this might have been like a really cool thing for like 300 because they all had like makeup abs but I, I, I couldn't I couldn't imagine and I don't really wear um, if I'm wearing a bathing suit outside like I'm not going to be wearing makeup and I don't really wear anything that's like too like low cut where I would need to bronze like I usually mostly just use makeup to kind of cover up some imperfections and match the rest of my body. So I don't know. I we'll see how long this lasts me. I feel like it will probably go bad before I go through it, but I really, really super enjoy the formula. And of course, I had already made a video on these, but um, it's the ColourPop cheek palettes. And I mean, I've been playing with these all week. I really, really enjoy them. I really enjoy the Super Shocks in here. Um, I think because of my order that I made, I don't really need to buy another highlighter for a long time. Like I have every possible shade that I could ever, ever want. Um, so it must be something really, really amazing or something that I really don't have for me to buy it. Like I still have my eyes on the Alien Cosmetics highlighter palette, but that's only because those are more like fun and different shades for me. There's like a really neat purple, a pink, and a green in there that like 
call to me but I mean as far as like every day or just like complimentary highlights like I have them all now so I don't I don't really need them what else did I pick up oh okay so I said that they were having a sale on um, lip pencils and I'm so happy that I picked these up when I did so the first one I want to talk about is um, I got the shade BFF and I think it's is it this one no I got the shade BFF which is supposed to be like a true nude I had a uh, Mac lip pencil that was kind of in the similar shade that they had discontinued a long time ago and my lip liner was very very old but since they discontinued it was literally like my shade but better um and i was super sad like they still have the like more metallic like glittery finish lip pencil in that tone but i don't always want a glittered lip like i would kind of prefer to just have a more matte lip um or at least like, um, I don't know, just not something as shiny. Like I, sometimes I don't need shine in my lip, it's okay. So I was really glad that I picked this one up and I believe BFF is still available at ColourPop. Like this one isn't going anywhere. But the second one is the uh, Cool BFF. And this one is already sold out. This was one of the first items to sell out in that sale. Um, I think I was lucky to even get it when I got it to be honest. And I'm not quite sure why they're getting rid of Cool BFF. Um, a lot of makeup channels, even that I don't watch, like uh, just a lot of makeup channels have said nothing but really great things about this lip product. It's a lot of people's like go-to standard shade. So I'm just a little confused as to why they would be getting rid of this. Unless they're replacing it with something else, I, I don't know. Um, but this one is this one seems to be gone. So if you didn't get your hands on it You might need to find something in a similar tone and then the last one that makes me so sad is um, They also put the so happy lip pencil in there I don't know why like look so these ones sent to me in like the pink packaging for the lip pencils But then this one's in the so very lovely um, cream gel pencil I don't know. I don't know what happened. And then the last item I got was just because I, I don't know if I'm using setting sprays right or if I'm just kind of noticing that like the setting sprays that I have are not ones that I really like. But I got my hands on the um, Glistening Up Illuminating Mist. Uh, this came out with the Lemoncello collection and I've heard really good things about this. I don't really like a dewy finish for my face. Um, but they, I've heard a lot of people say that this was just really nice to like kind of freshen up the face or like they'll use it on their bare face just to kind of give, um, just a nice finish overall. Um, some of the Lemoncello collection was actually on sale in that 80% off, which was just really confusing to me because I thought a lot of people loved it. The palette wasn't, but everything else was. Um, so I don't know if they're going to be bringing back the, um, the crayons that they made, they made those uh, liner crayon things and then they ended up making that like a stable collection in ColourPop. So I don't know if like they're just discontinuing the specific packaging from the Lemoncello collection and then just bringing it over to their main line or what. Um, the blushes in were also in the 80% off, which I thought was weird because everybody really loved them, especially the stick formulas. Everyone said that it was the better formula. So I don't know if, again, they're just going to discontinue that packaging and just bring it over into their um, standard collection. I don't know. I think it's just the things that have been sitting on ColourPop shelves for a long time and that they just couldn't sell out fast enough. Um, which leads me into like their next thing because I've seen this all over the like uh, new makeup release videos that have come out this week. ColourPop is doing mystery boxes and everyone knows that with mystery boxes like they're just items that they can't push out fast enough um and sometimes you get them like companies will say like oh there's like uh, an item that you can only get in these mystery boxes like the one big luxe item it's just funny that this color pop mystery box came out a few days after they started this 80% buy it before it's gone. I don't think they were advertising any special items 
for it um but i think it's going to be the like the things that weren't sold in the 80 percent like it's going to be a lot of luxe lip glosses and if you're not a fan of the luxe lip gloss i wouldn't buy it um i think ColourPop 2 is one of those like affordable brands like i would put it in the drugstore brand because i think their lip pencils are only like six dollars sure six dollars might be much for a lip pencil but compared to like mac where they're like 28 dollars you know what I mean? But you're still getting like the same quality at $6. So I don't know, for me, it's just easy to go and buy what I want or wait till they have like palette sales or like um, buy one, get ones. Like, you know, for me, those are the sales that I would be the most interested in. But that was my haul and I will see you guys in the next video.